Hello, and thank you for the opportunity to share Wearwell's safe entry system concept. My name is John Moffler. I am the Chief Business Development Officer for Wearwell. My goal is to demonstrate how the use of the Wearwell safe entry system can help you achieve your business goals as we all adapt to the new post-pandemic realities of social distancing and sanitization. I am not, however, a voice actor, so please bear with me. The CDC has released an enormous volume of information and guidance to help businesses minimize the spread of infectious disease. As of the creation of this presentation, the most current version available could be found in the Interim Guidance for Businesses and Employers Responding to Coronavirus Disease 2019, May 2020. The intent of the Safe Entry System is to integrate the CDC guidance into the practical needs of business. Social distancing to minimize spots where people group together is important. For business, we must couple that with the need for capacity to get employees into facilities quickly and efficiently at peak times like shift changes and breaks. Using signs or other means to mark floors with important information is smart. The safe entry system uses color to create flow while honoring social distancing guidance of six feet minimum. Disinfecting surfaces can kill harmful microbial agents like viruses. The safe entry system designates spots where specific sanitization protocols can be executed. The safe entry system utilizes Wearwell ErgoDeck tiles. There are several reasons. The first is that the geometry of these tiles is easy to remember and incrementally works with the six foot guidance provided by the CDC. ErgoDeck tiles are each 18 inch by 18 inch squares. So, Two tiles equals 36 inches or three feet, and four tiles equals 72 inches or the magic six feet, which is the CDC guidance for social distancing. It is also useful to note that the diagonal length of a tile is about 25 and a half inches. That can be handy as you consider your ideal layout. Another reason that ErgoDeck is a great choice is the availability of colors. Wearwell keeps in stock seven different colors of 18 inch by 18 inch tiles. The ramp system is available in two colors, black and yellow. ErgoDeck is also made of durable PVC molded in an ergonomically designed manner to be both easy to assemble and very comfortable to stand or walk on. ErgoDeck stays together until you want to take it apart. Then it can easily be disassembled and reconfigured as needed to, to accommodate changing protocols or standards that may arise in the future. ErgoDeck is sold in cases of 10 tiles. Each case covers an area of 22 and a quarter square feet. So it is easy to calculate the amount of material you need to design and install your own safe entry system. Wearwell designed and installed its own safe entry system in order to safely bring employees and visitors into its facility in Smyrna, Tennessee. We needed two stations for two different entrances. At each of these two entrances, we wanted a 30 feet by 20 feet check-in area. We also wanted to create three shoe sanitizing areas about three feet wide by 12 feet long. We wanted to use color to help us carve out spots within the layout for specific tasks to be completed and to keep people flowing through the station as quickly and efficiently as possible. We chose black as our space for putting tables, shelving, or any other fixtures necessary to help employees complete our entry protocols. ErgoDeck black tiles are available in two different hardness levels, so it makes it easy to differentiate between the black harder material for tables versus the charcoal softer material for walking or standing areas. Next, we used green tiles to call out the specific spots where employees or guests could stand while checking in. These tiles are placed in such a way that up to six people can be checking in at one time while maintaining proper social distancing. We have the safe entry system set up at two entrances to our facility, so up to 12 people can be checking in at one time, which meets our capacity needs for getting people into the building at peak times. We integrated other colors as well for different purposes. Red for stopping so we can take and record your temperature. Blue for where our coaches to stand and give instructions for those coming in yellow for buffers, and red again for those that may be exiting at the same time others are checking in. The geometry of the tiles works really well to easily create the appropriate social distancing. And the nice thing about ErgoDeck is if we decide to change our minds tomorrow 
or receive new guidance from the appropriate authorities, it is easy to remove or disassemble sections of the safe entry system and reconfigure to conform. Here you can also see the black tiles where our tables will sit, along with the green check-in spots where people stand to complete our protocols. The use of color keeps everything organized and helps everyone understand the flow to get into the building quickly and safely and in conformance. The temperature check and the final instructions from our coaches wraps up the check-in process. This aerial image shows the layout in its entirety. The entire safe entry system can be installed in an hour or two. The only tools required are a mallet and a bandsaw if cutting tiles is required. From this shot, it is easy to see how people can flow through the check-in element of the check station quickly while maintaining social distance. Now, all that remains is to sanitize footwear. Like so many things related to floor safety, sanitization of shoes can easily be overlooked. But since the outbreak of COVID-19, it has been widely reported that shoes can be a vehicle of transmission for the virus. Furthermore, once the virus gets into a facility and on the floor, common practices like sweeping and using compressed air can force the virus up from the floor into the air where it can be deadly. But there are simple and relatively inexpensive measures businesses can take to help prevent harmful microbes from entering facilities on shoes. At Wearwell, we think of it as a three-step decontamination and sanitization process that we integrate into the safe entry system. The first step is to loosen and remove large particles of dirt and debris from shoes. There are several products offered by Wearwell to accomplish this task. The most common is the 220 multi-guard mat. It comes in several sizes. The larger the size, the more debris gets removed as people walk across the mat and larger mats hold more dirt and debris for higher volumes of people using the mat. In our safe entry system, we installed the multi-guard at the beginning of our shoe sanitization station. Removing the larger particles of dirt and debris nicely prepares footwear for the next step in the station, the tacky mat. Tacky mat is a generic term. The specific product name in the Wearwell portfolio is the 095 clean room mat. We call them clean room mats because they are commonly used in gowning areas and entrances to clean rooms to remove contamination from the soles of shoes prior to entry into sensitive clean room environments. The mat has a sticky or tacky finish on the surface. When you step on the mat three times, the contamination on the bottom of your shoes transfers to the tacky surface. This technique can be up to 98% effective in removing contamination and debris from shoe soles. Tacky mats come in a number of sizes and they are also available in colors, blue and white. There are four mats in a pack and each mat has 30 sheets. When a sheet gets full of contamination and no longer has any tackiness, simply tear off the sheet to expose a new one. The foot traffic at Wearwell is such that we use about one sheet per day on each mat. The photo on the upper left shows the footprint on the surface of the mat where the dirt on the sole was transferred to the tacky finish. Again, we have three spots in our safe entry system to allow for three people to decontaminate at the same time. After the tacky mat decontamination, we have just one more step in our process to truly sanitize footwear. Shoe sanitizing mats are basically baths that contain a microbe killing solution. By stepping in the bath and soaking the soles of shoes for a period of time, virtually all microbial life is destroyed. The appropriate amount of time depends on the specific solution you decide to use. The CDC recommends a dilution of bleach with water between 500 and 5,000 parts per million, or between 10 and 100 parts water to one part bleach. At Wearwell, our protocol is for each person entering the plant to stay in the solution for 20 to 30 seconds. I'm told that is roughly two verses of the Baby Shark song, but I am not an expert in that musical genre. But seriously, Wearwell offers several different sizes and configurations of shoe sanitizing mats to outfit a safe entry system. The shoe sanitization mat is the final stop in our safe entry system. 
We do have some additional 220 multi-guard scraper mats for people to stomp off the moisture for the sanitizing mat as they walk away. This is a good option if you are concerned about the possibility of wet shoes causing a slip hazard in your facility. To summarize, the Safe Entry System incorporates proven effective wear well products to help maintain proper social distance, define flow, and sanitize footwear for all people entering a facility. Wear well protocols call for five distinct stops in the flow through the sanit Safe Entry System but the flexibility of the components allows for any business to customize the layout to meet individual needs and protocols. And because the safe entry system components are modular, the system is flexible enough to adapt to changes as they arise in these uncertain times. Thank you for your time. And as always, thank you so much for your business. If you would like more information or would like to consult with a WearWell Pro regarding the safe entry system, please reach out to us. We will be happy to assist in making certain the entry points to your building maintain social distance, generate flow, and help prevent employees and visitors from contaminating your facility. Thank you again.